kindergarten friends. So good to see you. You have made it to the classwork tab, and this is where we're going to be doing our weekly art assignments. So congratulations. You are learning Google Classroom really well. Super excited for you. So we are going to start learning what art is, and we're going to become artists. So in order to do that, we need to know what an artist is. So let's look at what an artist is. A someone who uses their imagination. I like to think of all different things that I could draw, far off places that I've never been. Maybe I want to put my ideas down on paper. That's using my imagination. I get to create and design things. You're going to be learning how to use markers and crayons and paintbrushes, and we're going to be cutting and gluing and putting things together. Okay, that's what an artist does. We also like to listen to the ideas of others. We get to share our artwork. We get to look and see what other people made. And we get to be like, wow, that's so creative. I wish I could do that. Okay, that's what art is. We share our ideas and our artwork. We concentrate on our own work. Okay, every week I'm going to be giving you a new assignment and I want you to do the very best you can do. Okay, we're not great artists yet. We are beginning to become great. Okay, it takes practice, and we're going to be learning a lot of things this year. And most importantly, we give it our all. So, first thing we're going to do is we are going to read a book about an artist. His name is actually Art, and we're going to see what he likes to create in his artwork. All right, let's watch that. So today we're going to read the story, Art, by Patrick McDonald. This is art. And this is art. Art and his art. Can you tell them apart? When art is in play, get out of art's way. He zigs, he zags, he really gets wired. There's no stopping art when art is inspired. He draws scribbles that squiggle. Dots, red, yellow, blue. Splotches with blotches. And the curliest cue. Art stares at his paper and uses his noodle to conjure up a perfect doodle. And doodles need houses, trees. And cool cars, a dog, a moon, and a billion bright stars. Art draws and draws till he flops in a heap, and among his creation, he falls fast asleep. Now let's be quiet and try something we've heard. A picture is worth a thousand words. Wow, look at his artwork. It's beautiful. And when he awakes a little bit later, Art sees his art on the refrigerator. Held there by magnets, stars, and a heart. Put there by mother. Because mother loves art. I'm sure dads and grandmas and everybody else loves art too. I like this story. So I hope you enjoyed that story and I hope it inspired you to make your own beautiful artwork because that is what we're going to be doing next. So this week when you come to school group A and B, you are going to be receiving a folder with a bunch of colored paper and that's going to be for our art projects. You're also going to be receiving your art workbook. So the very first page I have... It's a picture frame, and it says, my first day of kindergarten art class. So in this frame, I want to see your beautiful artwork, okay? I want you to draw 
anything you would like. You can draw a picture of your family. You could draw a picture of your pet, your school, what you're excited about, maybe a favorite character that you have. Okay, you can use your imagination for this. I want to see your very best artwork. Okay. My cohort D students, you haven't received this yet. We're trying to plan a parent pickup to receive your art workbook. So I'm going to download this worksheet and maybe you can print it off at home. And if you can't, that's okay. Use a plain piece of paper for this. That's, I'm totally okay with that. All right. So I hope you have fun. I can't wait to see what pictures you come up with and how beautiful they are. All right. Happy creating. Bye, guys. So before I start creating my art, I need to make sure I have all the supplies I need. So I'm going to start with a pencil. This way, if I make a mistake, I can erase it. I like to trace my pencil with Sharpie so that it makes my picture stand out. And then I've got all different kinds of coloring materials that I get to choose from. All right, so happy creating. my beautiful drawing that I did and I took my time and I colored in the background that's the area around my picture I also decorated the frame with those zigzags and polka dots just like art had in his book okay so once one thing to remember is that once you draw or you create art you have to go back and clean up your mask so make sure you put your crayons and markers or whatever you took out away and then the second piece to doing our art assignment is that now that you have made your artwork, you have to photograph it and send it back to me. So there are a couple different ways to do that. I have made a helpful document um, with different ways of doing that. Um, one is to use the camera app on your Chromebook, which um, we found out last week wasn't working, but now we think it's up. Um, there's other ways that you can use your cell phone as well as um, making a Google document or slide. All right, so thank you for creating with me, and I'll see you next week.